N R K on the beat on the beat on the beat on the beat. Have you felt recently that people around you are getting angrier? That the news is getting worse? And that we all seem to hate each other a lot more? You can blame the advertising industry. We've been the bad guys for a long time. We're materialistic, deceptive, we're creepy. Advertising is tearing our social fabric apart, and if we don't do something about it, things are going to get worse. Sensationalism, fake news, there's stuff going on behind the scenes you might not even know about. You think that you are choosing what to read and what to watch, but in fact, a lot of the time algorithms are choosing it for you. They're optimizing it so that you see more ads. Ad overload stresses us out. We feel this architecture of news feeds, slideshows, push alerts that makes us jump from one piece of content to the next at a pace our brains were literally not built to handle. Neuroscientists have found that this increases our cortisol level by forcing us to multitask. Crisis of doomsday news anxiety, misinformation, and extreme partisanship is underwritten by Madison Avenue. Digital advertising has built a house of cards, and big parts of that are at risk of collapse. More likely, as paywalls continue to go up, we will further divide. We are bifurcating our media landscape into the haves and the have-nots. We should be very concerned. I have good news for the ad industry. You can finally be the good guys. It is your money that is funding the media crisis. It is your money and you can stop putting it there. Because you too have a purpose beyond profits. And in this situation, your profits may in fact depend on it.